Mosenspiel! Mosenspiel. Yeah, Mosenspiel. Mosenspiel. <laughs> We've been drinking. <laughs> Mosenspiel. Oh, man. So I got a, I got a, I got a topic. I'm halfway through this sake bottle, I think. Oh, man. I'm, I'm still on my second glass of wine, and I, I'm, I'm, st I'm feeling it. Okay. And we're and, and, and we're gonna play a video game after this. But yeah, it's gonna be about anyways. It's, gonna, uh, it's called Never Alone. I'm looking forward to it. It's supposed to be very great for like schools and stuff because kids will actually enjoy it, and it's actually really educational. Yeah. So here's one of the instances where I don't know how to kill this thing. Then I scan it. A new creature's entry has been added to your log. They can be blown up with fucking big giant fucking guns. Yeah, missiles in particular. So I'm like, oh, okay, awesome. <laughs> so you just. Shot it with a giant missile. Yep. So then my solution for the rest of the game is shoot it, shoot it with a missile, shoot it with a uh, charge beam, and if none of that works, run fucking fast. run. Just run fast. Yeah, like that one. I was like, whatever. Was that an actual enemy? I so this, is, so this is Magmore Cavern. Okay, so it's like Magma, but they changed the last right, right, letter. Right. And it's got some pretty cool music in it. <laughs> okay. No, not feeling it. It's like this weird sort of like cheap techno kind of I don't know. To me, it, it sounds like some weird Rammstein kind of background music. Yeah, that's what it, it's like. They're trying to do, yeah, something <laughs> like that. Ich bin, ich bin lieber sein. Alles klar aus America. <laughs> I'm just saying well, random. They, weren't they able to, like, actually... This is a point where they were able to actually put real songs in games, though, right? Uh, Nintendo really didn't do that, though. Yeah, they never really the did. The sports games did it. Yeah, like, GTA yeah. had, like, real songs in its games, right? Yeah. GTA 3 had real songs. Yes, it did. On the radio stations. Yeah, <laughs> see, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah, it had, uh, I Ran So Far Away such hits. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Well, that was in Vice City, I think. I don't know. Anyways, um, here's a topic for you. Okay. The Ghost in the Shell movie's uh, gonna be coming out, right? The okay. live-action Ghost in the Shell movie. I'm a big Ghost in the Shell fan, as you can as you can see. I have like all the DVDs. I think it's gonna be shit. It's probably gonna be fucking garbage because Scarlett Johansson's gonna be the main actress. Oh, is she? God damn it! Like I've known this for a while. So but they're was... actually making it really big then. I thought they were gonna do like a cheap version. No, no, no. I'd I'd almost prefer that. That might actually be ri written well. Well, as long as it, if it's the same guy who did the, like the original, then it'll probably be shit. Because he lost his muse a long time ago. Oh, uh, you mean the creator or the director? I guess it's the director. I yeah, the, it's not like the writer. So you're not talking director. about the original writer? No, no, no. Okay, I mean, okay, I mean okay. the director. Cause, well, well, I don't think he because uh... he he made his own live action film. Like I worked for a studio that actually made all the visuals for that film, and so I I, I saw a lot of that film, and it wasn't very good. <laughs> it was pretty shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was the one. I'm very, I'm very worried because I don't know if you've seen The Last of Us video where we talk about actresses, but I hate Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she is the you, worst. You have this irrational hatred for Scarlett Johansson. Oh, she's not. She can't act. Yeah, but how many actresses can? Nicole Kidman. We are complaining about women. This is good. We're supposed, <laughs> to, we're supposed to be complaining about women, and we're doing it. Good. This is this is thematic. Oh. But one of my favorite anime fr anime franchises franchises of all time, and what do I get? I get Scarlett Johansson as Makoto Kus Kusanagi. This is bullshit. <laughs> and she's gonna be no. Well, you're gonna get Scarlett Johansson playing Scarlett Johansson. Uh, and I bring this up now because I just read an article. So over... why don't you just go down there? Okay, so figure it out. So what I'm doing, John. Okay. And these fucking bugs push me out. <laughs> oh, is that what they do? Yeah. Oh, I so, see. So that's why it's. Oh, I bring this. I bring this up now it. because. I thought the only way this movie was going to be made is if you have a big time actress like Scarlett Johansson as in it, you know? Yep. So I was for a while going, okay. Then, you know, the, the whole whitewashing the Oscars and whitewashing Hollywood. Yeah, so is, why didn't they just become... have a Japanese person, right? Because that's kind of, it was a Japanese person originally. Right, yeah. It's supposed to be. But they got Scarlett Johansson, who is like whiter than anybody. Oh my god, is she white? <laughs> She's fucking whiter than the Queen of England. On top of the fact that she can't act. She's well, bad at her job. <laughs> her, her job is to be like an action star. Most action stars can't act. 
I would rather you just not have Kusanagi in it and just have fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger well, as okay, the main yeah, character. Yeah. How many Arnold? How many characters has Arnold Schwarzenegger played? Like one. Yeah, and he's damn good at it. He's only, well. Come on, Scarlett Johansson's good at playing the no, one. No, she tries. She tries to do more than that, and it doesn't work. Like what? She's only done. She's she. Her only good role was in the movie The Island, where she was a fucking clone who couldn't think for herself. She was like the only good actor in that movie. That movie was... I, I saw that it recently with no, friends. Sean Bean was the only good one. Sean Bean was... He was... But, you know, a bad director actually hampers the actor's performances. Sean Bean got really fucking hampered in that. Oh, well, yeah. So did Ewan McGregor. They got really... But Scarlett Johansson had some really good moments in that film, actually. Yeah, as in going, Oh, I don't... I don't know what... Uh, no, all, and, that, and, those were all her lines. No, in the bar? <laughs> she had some good stuff in that... In the bar. When she was playing, like, the naive kind of, you know, first person who... First time she's ever left the compound kind of thing. Yeah, you know, with the same dumb expression on her face in all her movies. No, she no, yeah. she had, she had some good. That expression in that has film. not left her face since the island. Anyways, this is besides the point. First time the I point saw the is, island. No, we're talking about the island. Oh right? god damn it! First time I saw the island, I was like, "This is an all right film." We saw it again with friends. I'm like, "Fuck, this film's terrible." Well, the first time I saw it, it was German dubbed, so it was like, that was like, <laughs> like I remember that as being like the good Michael Bay film. Like, so I didn't even hear Scarlett Johansson's voice. I heard a German actress dubbing over her voice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's supposed to be, like, the good Michael Bay film. The, the island was supposed to be the good... But it wasn't. It was just... It, it's the, the plot was so nonsensical. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, the white the whitewashing Hollywood thing's gotten a lot of steam, especially since the Oscars. Um, so, there was actually an article that came out yesterday that I read about ten actresses that would be better casted than Scarlett Johansson for Kusanagi. <laughs> where did where did you read this article? Uh, it was on one of the forums I'm on. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it was it was an article that came out in Europe. Oh, so these platforms sync. Yes, they do. And um, I forgot. <laughs> and you get hurt every time you jump in the hot magma. As you probably should. Yes. Magma is hot. Yeah. So. But if I've learned Even though the from... suits can handle the heat, it can't handle... Magma. But, yeah, if there's anything I've learned from uh, video games and movies is it it only sings a little bit. It's actually quite fine if you just get out of it really quickly. Oh, yeah. So. So, I, I, I have... My hopes are extremely low that... Yay, more jumping this article, puzzles! This jumping article, puzzles! Yay! See, this, this, this article went on to say that Hollywood was making the Ghost in the Shell movie. Like, the, the budget was set and everything, and they chose Scarlett Johansson over these other actresses. And who are the other actresses? Uh, well, people you never heard of. But uh, one of them, in particular, was... Were they Japanese? Uh, I think one was Chinese and, and whatnot. The point is, one of them, in particular, I thought would be excellent, was the Japanese girl from Pacific Rim. Yeah. She would have been excellent. Yeah. Even though, to be honest, I didn't think her, her character was very good in Pacific Rim. Well, she was, like, hardly in it. No, she was in it a lot. And... I think she was, like, the second main... She was the second main character in that movie. I, I would... I would, I thought she was kind of a side character. Well, it's because she, was, she just had a terrible character is what it was. It yeah, was just a really yeah. poorly written I think character. she was fine. The character's not. Yeah, the, the character was really so poorly written. So I think she would, have, she would have been a better choice than Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, yeah. sure she would have. I'm sure she would have been. I mean, she's, but a she also, she's a Japanese action star. But then cool. she's just going to also get typecast, right? As like, okay, we need an Asian, you know, kind of cyberpunky action person. Who's the one with the purple hair again? We'll just get her every time. <laughs> right? Uh, well, no. Scarlett Johansson um, doesn't have purple hair in the movie. She has black hair. Oh, well, there you go. Well, so what the that, fuck doesn't matter then? That's just to make her look Asian, right? Yeah. Man, Pacific Rim was not a good film. People loved that movie. It was just... It was boring, man. I thought, it was, okay. I thought it was okay. Yeah. It was okay. Well, I'm interested an, in it, seeing how Scarlett Johansson and how like the new like Ghost in the Shell movie does. I mean, I'm gonna see it. Yeah, of course. But same way you'd watch all the Avengers movies and all that shit. Yeah, like I mean, well, just like I saw the the latest Star Wars movie. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I saw it anyways. Uh, yeah. It, because it was... I, I I don't want to be living under a rock. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it was kind of middling. I, I think people were just thrilled that there was a Star Wars movie that wasn't embarrassing. Is all it was. I think that's all it was. And and I think they, they ignored the fact of how much of it actually was kind of embarrassing still. 
I mean, I, I'm, I'm looking at it as a person who doesn't hate Star Wars, nor thinks it's the greatest thing ever. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, okay. It was, a, it was an action-y movie. It was fine. Yeah, but see, that's, that's just... I fucking hated Kylo Ren, but whatever. That just means it was a failure. If, if you're like, oh, it was an action movie, it was fine. That, because that's not what Star Wars is. Star Wars is supposed to be like... Yeah, but I've, I've looked at all of them pretty much as that. Yeah. Because six out of the... Or not six out of the... Uh, six out of the seven has co have come out in my life. No, I'm wrong. Four out of the seven have come out in my lifetime. Jeez, yeah. that took a while to get right. But then it's like the bad four. But that's that's... I didn't see the original three in the theaters. You didn't see the original three in the theaters. I did, actually, because they re-released them. No, when they first came out. Not when they first came out, but they re-released them. I don't know if you remember this, but um, in the years, in the decades between Return of the Jedi and The Phantom... Uh, the Menace? Fa yeah. I was trying to think of a clever way to put that. So get a load of this shit. You're going to jump up here, aren't you? I'm bad at the double jump. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they really like they really put your feet to the fire on that one in more than one way. Yeah. It's like you really gotta get it right. Or yeah. Um yeah. so the Phantom Monstrosity. Uh in the decades between that they they put out a lot of Star Wars content. People think it's just like, okay, well it's just the one people were like, <laughs> Well it's just the main movies. Well no, actually they did they did all sorts of different like re releases of Star Wars in those years where they would keep on releasing the theaters for different reasons. So they had like the special editions. And they uh, really, really didn't they do the that theaters. with Raiders of the Lost Ark too? Maybe they did. It was just a giant cash grab. There was yeah. really no reason. To okay, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and they, they did the yeah. They they basically found lots of reasons to re-release yeah. it. So going to I mean we all know that the next Star Wars is coming out what end of 2017 or something. No, crazy? no, no. It's coming out this, this uh, summer. No, they no they uh, Star Wars Rebel Assault or Rebel whatever it's called. It's coming out this summer. No, they they pushed it back. You're talking about Star Wars 8. No, I thought it was 7. Seven's already out. We saw or 7. Or 8. Yeah, Star, Star Wars, Wars 8. 8. Okay, yeah, Star so Wars 8 is going to be... That's, that's not the that's next like... Star Wars movie. The next Star Wars movie is, is not can't, it's not part of the, the main storyline. Oh, then who cares? <laughs> like, half the fucking planet? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so they, they've the... planned for like 5, 6 Star Wars movies in the future, because it's Disney. Yeah, so they're going to be releasing 2 every year. Uh, there's gonna be like the canon one that's part of the main storyline, and then there's always gonna be like these extra like ones on the side. Uh, so there's like the Rebel Forces. I forget what it's called. It's like, oh, I didn't know that. that's news to me. So now we're in Ice World. I yeah, got, they're really I, I like, got out of Magma Town. They're really dealing. With, they're really handling the stereotypical levels. Like this is just like Mario. You got the lava world. You got the ice world. Hey, it's uh, it's what games are. Well, it's what they were. I'll put it that way. Yeah, I I still think they are. They're like that. So. Never okay, a bunch. Like a, the point is, a bunch of Star Wars movies have been planned, and this is what the, this is what's coming out. Can you imagine Never Alone with the Lava World? <laughs> flower, flower going through the Lava World. <laughs> so, upon reading the whitewashing of Ghost in the Shell, uh, the very next article was uh, James Cameron released that there's going to be four more Avatar movies. Yeah, I know, but he's like, he was holy supposed to, shit. Well, he he announced that every like, other year there's gonna be an Avatar. No, but movie. he announced that when the first one came out, and he's like yeah, years but... and years behind on the sequel. Will it actually happen? Like, fuck no. He's gonna turn into George Lucas, spend fucking years and years and years <laughs> putting it off, right? Because he doesn't have any any real ideas. Because Avatar didn't have any real ideas, so of course the sequels aren't going to have any real ideas. Um, and so he's eventually gonna put up a crappy sequel. Another crappy sequel, and then some other studio is going to rest, wrestle the franchise from him, and actually put out reasonably good movies. So I actually uh, discovered that before anything else. So that actually unlocked a door. Okay. Up top. Man, I got in trouble, and like we were talking about uh, James Cameron in class one time uh, about Titanic and stuff like that, and using like historical films and class and stuff. And I said James Cameron can't write a story. People got mad at me. Oh, we'll have to discuss that next time. Oh yeah, we're done. Yeah, oh, we complained about women. Good. Yeah, you whole particularly Scarlett Johansson. We complained about one woman. <laughs> one woman who will never meet. Who has already far exceeded anybody. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>